And now let's learn how to know the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, now we have the following functions, sine inverse of x, cosine inverse of x, and all to the cosecant inverse of x. So notice this is cosecant x, which we are familiar with, and then we take the inverse of that. So all these are inverses, okay, of the trigonometric functions, so we call them inverse trig functions. So if we have a function, let's say sine x, right? Let's say sine x is equal to something. Why? Okay, the inverse will be that x is sine inverse of y. Good. So inverses of um, a function, okay, is a, is, a, is a rule that will undo what a function has done, okay? So if we have a function if which takes an element in, the, in this domain, okay, to the range, let's say it takes x to y, right? Then if inverse is a, is a rule that we will now move from y back to x, okay? So this is going to uh, reverse the direction of that function. So we call them inverses. Good. Okay, so what this tells us is that whenever we have sine of something, the result is going to be a value, okay, where this thing is an angle. Then to recover the angle, we can take the sine inverse of both sides. So if you take sine inverse of sine x, the result is going to give you back the angle, and then that will give you the sine inverse of that uh, value. Good, okay. And we have the domain of inverses of trigonometric functions. You know, whenever we take sine of something, okay, the result lies between negative one and one. So let me put it down here for you. Sine of x is a member of this set from negative one to one, okay? So the inverses will only work for that domain from negative one to one. In fact, if you check the domain of that inverse, you're going to discover just this, from negative one to one. Anyway, um, let's get right into how to know the derivative of inverses of tri trigonometry functions. So you observe we have sine inverse, which is the inverse of the sine function, cosine inverse, which is the negative of the cosine function, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Great. Okay, okay. Now the derivative of, of the functions is as follows. When you have sine inverse of x, it is one over the square root of one minus x squared. Well, you just need to uh, look at having a fraction, okay, whenever you want to remember it, you look at having a fraction, then um, the denominator is a square root function, which consists of difference of two squares, and then we have 1 minus x squared. Now, all the functions that are co, just the co-functions, okay? This is sine function, sine inverse, okay? This is a co-function, which is cosine inverse. So all the co-functions, the derivative, their derivatives is negatives, okay? So you observe, um, the sine inverse, the derivative of that is that. Then the derivative of the cosine inverse, okay, is the negative of the derivative of the sine inverse. Good. So... The co-functions, they will just have the negative of the, its co-function, which is the sine. Now, this is for the tangent. The derivative of tangent is going to give us this fraction, all right, Where, which is defined for all real numbers. Then, the inverse of that tangent or the, the co-function, okay, of that tangent, which is called the cotangent inverse, is going to be the negative of the derivative of the tangent inverse function. Right, so that is just a little thing for you to note. Whenever we have the co-functions, okay, the derivatives will be the negative of the main functions. That is the same thing that we observe here. Now, this one is um, kind of a very kind of ugly, okay, but it's okay. We have one of our the absolute value of x times the square of x squared minus 1. So you observe that the, the, the difference between the derivative of secant inverse and sine inverse is the fact that this radical here, which is 1 minus x squared, here it is the negative of that. Here it is x squared minus 1. Good. Okay. And another thing is that we multiply this with absolute value of x. Anyway, most, in most cases, we just ignore the absolute value just for very small reasons. All right, great. Um, so you notice this. The co-functions, they will have negative derivatives. And then the main functions will have the positive. Okay. I take note of how the functions are. All right, great. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.